If you have received the email from your hosting service provider regarding the inode's quota reach, then do not ignore that email because it can cause very serious issues to your website. Uh, like it can crash your website or slow down the website speed if the inode's quota reach 200% or above. So here I am going to show you how to significantly improvise the inode quota uh, on your hosting plan. So I have received the email recently that we would like to warn you that hosting plan has already exceeded 90% of its maximum allowed inodes quota. Uh, when you check the email itself, uh, you can click the link provided in the email or if you don't, uh, if you are not with the site ground, if you are some uh, with some other hosting service provider, don't worry. I will gonna show you each and every steps how to fix this issue, how to improvise the inode quota significantly. Let me click and see what happens. Here, my site ground account suggests me the steps how to improvise the quota. There are a number of steps. They have mentioned uh, the first step is remove the old backups. So on your WordPress hosting, if you are using the third party backups, then simply uh, remove them. Second is delete inactive plugin. So if I go to under plugin page in my WordPress panel, you can see I have about seven inactive plugins. If I'm not using any of those plugins, then I should delete them and this will help uh, my hosting plan to improve or get rid of the unnecessary inodes. Now the third step is remove unused image sizes. So here SiteGround suggests the plugin called Regenerate Thumbnails. Um, I use two different plugins which I'm gonna show you now. Uh, first is the Regenerate Thumbnails and second is Media Cleanup. So when you go to add new under the plugin section, here you can search for regenerate thumbnail. The first option simply install now and then activate that plugin. Once you activate that plugin, go to tools and under here you will find regenerate thumbnail. So the options are very simple. You have to just choose any of these options and regenerate the thumbnails. So first option, skip regenerating existing correctly sized thumbnail. Yes, I would skip that. Second is delete thumbnail files for old unregistered sizes in order to free up the server space. For now, I will gonna get it unticked right there. And there are two buttons here, regenerate thumbnails for all 67 attachments or regenerate thumbnails for 34 featured images only I would, I've, I would go to the first option and click that and it will regenerate the thumbnails for all the attachments now you can go to plugin add new and search for media cleaner and you will find the option called media cleaner clean and optimize space from Jordi Meow. Simply install and activate the plugin. Once you install and activate, it will show up here. Go to the media cleaner. Here are the options. Make sure it's ticked, image only, make sure it's enabled, attach images, consider as in use. Make sure this one also is ticked. Then go to advance. Everything looks all right. So go to Access Media Cleaner Dashboard. And here, you just need to allow it to scan. So it may not take too long unless you have thousands and thousands of photos or images. And simply delete all. So if you are emotionally attached to particular images like this, logos then you can just skip those ones what you have to do is simply select all okay and then deselect 
the ones you don't want to delete okay and then manually delete six entries and then again select all oh my bad and delete rest of the six entries this one as well or you can do something like this which is select this one ignore one entry and everything else will be deleted okay once you are done with regenerating the thumbnails you can see here there are few thumbnails which have been regenerated and the media cleaner is done as well we have to go to the next step the next step SiteGround suggest is check the number of cache files you have so if you are using SiteGround then they have their own optimizer plugin which call SG optimizer you simply go to plugins and download the SG optimizer so go to add new you can skip if you already know SG optimizer from SiteGround you will find the first option from SiteGround simply install now and activate and then go to SG optimizer dashboard and here you can simply check whether the caching is working fine here it says caching is disabled go to dynamic caching I can see dynamic caching is off memcache is off this is my choice because uh, with my theme dynamic caching option is causing some issues on the theme so you have to be careful when you are using dynamic caching automatic automatic purge this option only works when you have dynamic caching option active so I will leave it inactive rest of the options are untouched and then you can check out rest of the options as well and figure out what options are best for you well I made separate video on caching so feel free to check out that video uh, link is given in description below so once this part is done you have to delete the opcache folders in your account so to delete the opcache folder you know here is too much technical what site ground suggest is go to site tools and all these things and then generate the private key and then you know implement that private key to uh, the party and where, where you can delete or remove the opcache what I can do is I don't know whether this option 100% works but in my case it worked so I go to add plugin here I search for WP opcache and you will find the first option called WP Opcache plugin from Nords just simply install now and then activate so when you activate that plugin you go to WP Opcache and then automatically flush the Opcache after the upgrade yes I don't mind hide the flush Opcache now I leave it on save changes go to statistics check out the statistics the cache files you can have a look at it and then simply flush the PHP op cache make sure you have the backup available so in case if it cause any issues um, you can restore the backup in 99.9% .9 cases it will not cause any kind of issue so you don't have to worry about simply flush the op cache and done let's see what's next so the next step says clean up your email accounts uh, you can simply go to your uh, hosting service provider if you're using the email services from the hosting and make sure you delete the unnecessary email accounts you are not currently using now one more thing is under my website hosting if I go I can show you here so if you are using the site ground then go to services option and then under the services go to hosting and then statistics under the statistics it will show up how much is being used how much is free 
you can see my inodes are up to the 90% reach so it's not acceptable because sooner or later it will reach 200% and it will start causing issues so what else you can do after the above steps I have mentioned you know uh, what you can do is simply go to your website hosting service provider go to websites and then wait 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 choose your website which is taking too much inodes quota and then go to file manager of the website select the show folder size and inodes option and here you can work out what are the unnecessary folders here which requires to be deleted you can delete unnecessary ones but make sure you have the backup ready also in my case because I was taking too many backups and restoring by saving the backups I was you know unnecessarily creating too many inodes here if you see the restores folder I have like 222,347 inodes unnecessarily stored just into the restore backup files so that was the first option suggested by the site ground that make sure you remove the this is the first option make sure you remove the old backups so this is the thing because I am using the site grounds backup uh, service I can delete the unnecessary files or folders which is stored or created in the restore folder so simply go maybe I can do it so simply select that and make sure you have the backup ready simply select that and delete action can be undone please make sure you wish to proceed yes and after you delete the unnecessary folder from the restore folder uh, make sure you check out your website whether it's functioning correctly or not once the website is functioning correctly then you can just enjoy relax and don't have to worry about anything else let me refresh here and see how much I have freed up in inodes quota so the inodes quota is still not updated by the way it may take few minutes so I will come back later and take a screenshot and will share here I hope you enjoy watching this video guys uh, if you have any questions or suggestions please comment me in comment box below and I will be happy to answer you as soon as possible also please thumbs up to this video to encourage me to make up more and more helpful e-commerce based wordpress tutorials and other helpful videos thanks for watching see you next time bye bye